Hello and welcome back to another episode of Barmerside Plays Through Suikoden 2. So we are here, uh, trying to redeem ourselves from the first time we did our very first cook-off. Um, so we're gonna try to challenge Yumku again. And hopefully this goes our way this time. We have better judges. <laughs> um, each judge has their own different tastes, so you never know. Uh, that's why you always want to save before each cook-off, for sure. But it's fun. Hello, everybody, and welcome! Now, let's get started with today's cook-off! I will be your host today. My name is Futu Chen! First, I'd like to introduce you to today's panel of judges. He used to hunt for treasure, and now he needs strength for his job at the store. It's Alex! Which means I don't think he's too picky. He's reasonable. Uh, the horrible end supposedly awaits any man who dares to learn the secret beneath her lovely lips. The lovely Rune Master Jean! He lives in Ragnarok Castle with his big brother. Japanese food is his love. It's Yamku! According to Apple, she likes something called French food. These four judges will be evaluating... Uh, today's dishes. Okay, now let's introduce our challenger. Today's challenger is... Chef Yunku! There you Um, and now, the person we've all been waiting for, our army chef! hi -yo! The judgment will be based on three dishes. Now please take your... Alright, I won't read that every time. But, uh, we know we have Japanese food and French food that will be popular. Now, as far as... Um, there's a whole Japanese stew right here, so... Why don't we do that for our appetizer? Shabu Shabu Dark Stew. We could just call it Japanese stew, no spice, so let's do that. And then, what would be a French food? Omelet. Omelet. Um. I don't know what would be French. I I don't have all these memorized or anything. So. Tilde course. Tinto specialty. Uh yeah, let's do full course. Um. We have no kobolds. The Rokaku course. No ninjas. No Tinto. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> no L's. Alright. Mmm. Pizza. Everybody likes pizza. Pancakes, anchovy, sen... Oh, wow. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but let's do it. Ooh. Yes. Um, cream. That sounds good. Or hot. Ah, let's do cream. Let's do it! See what happens. Maybe this is... I'm just jabbing on X real quick, because you just cook faster, technically, even though you have one minute. Or less than a minute. Um... Let's see how these dishes fare. I really don't know uh, about Gene or Alex. I think Gene might be, like, a harder judge. Um... There is guides online on how to kind of, uh, like, what foods are best for which person, but we don't need that. We don't need no stinking guide. Oh, wait. I am a guide. Oh, jeez. This whole walkthrough is a guide. <laughs> Alright. Tomato soup! Uh, not very high. Okay, okay. Okay. Six, eight. Um. Japanese stew! Not too bad, not too bad. That's ten. Gyoza. Alright, four. Another three. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Oh, snap. That was pretty good. I had no idea what that was. <laughs> uh... 
and V, I can't even pronounce that, what the heck? You know, and it's funny because I used to be a sh I'm not a chef because I didn't go to culinary school, but I cooked for several years, prepped and cooked. Uh, at least it's consistent. Um, for about seven years, and I don't know half of these dishes. Woo! As you can see, our winner uh, today, cook off is our champion, Chef Hayao! Hell yeah. Uh, well, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye for now. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye Aw, yeah. Your reputation is well-deserved, Hayo. You are as great a chef as they say. This is my family recipe, handed down from generation to generation. You beat me fair and square, so it's yours now. You got tomato soup recipe! Hooray! Thanks a lot! Farewell, Hayo. I look forward to the day where we meet again. <laughs> Sweet! So, um, I may have mentioned in the last video, but this is, this is the kitchen. This is what it looks like. <laughs> There's, uh, people out here. Pursuing the Sindars all these years didn't leave me much time to relax. Maybe I'll try to ease off a little bit. He's keeping an eye on Lorelai standing right here. Gah! This great big yawn always makes me feel better. Kenkaku? All these living things must eat. The, uh, that is the greatest truth. Um, yeah, and then... So all, all these, a lot of people hang out here or whatever, and then you can talk to Hayo, and then you can give him the recipes that you've been, uh, oh, that you've been holding on to this whole time. And so the whole reason why we had a garden and why we were giving animals to Yuzu and catching fish in the fishing minigame is they all kind of um, are ingredients for this Mechanic, I guess is the best way to put it. You can make pretty much any consumable item in the game that you, you've gotten from enemy drops or treasure chests or you can buy. You can make them pretty much right here. Uh, you use the ingredients that you've collected. So uh, here we're going to use some shellfish, two shellfish, and then we're going to want to... Or is that salmon? Uh, the shellfish, I guess, the little lobster thing. Um, where's that meat? I'm pretty sure it's the, the salmon, uh, the big expensive fish. Um, and if we order it, we can order it with any sort of spice that we saw in the in the mini game. So we can get the Tinto Specialty, the Matilda Coors, soy sauce. Yeah, let's do Rokaku. Why not? Uh, and it's saying we don't have the ingredients. Oh, to make another one. So we put this on the menu and then we can make other things as well, so Obento, ladies lunch, uh, rising sun bento, sashimi, that actually sounds really good, diet lunch, shrimp lunch, so let's do some sashimi, um, and it's, it's just using up all the ingredients that we've had, yeah, let's put some pancakes, spicy pizza, yeah, yeah, we want some spicy, some grilled fish, um, ooh, yeah, salmon, dried, nah, salted, gross, royal eel, yeah, let's do the salmon. Um, get some sweet, so you can pretty much essentially use up all of your ingredients and they'll replenish over time. So what kind of sandwiches we got? French toast? Oh, that would have been perfect for apple. Uh, steak sandwich. Veggie sandwich, spicy sandwich, uh, meat pies. Yeah, let's do some French toast and ice cream is always a popular, some pudding. So now that we've ordered that food, oh shoot. Uh, that Now that's on the menu, you can buy all of these things, right? Um, so when you make a new recipe here, or a new menu, basically. You take your ingredients and uh, you basically make a uh, 
menu of things that you want available for purchase for you. So, uh, the spicy pizza caused boost, caused hyper. Uh, this also causes hyper, so this just heals 650. It's way more expensive. So it's a really neat mechanic, especially early in the game when you don't want to use medicines and mega medicines all the time and everything like that. So, um... I definitely underutilized it here in uh, my walkthrough. It's because we're trying to get that that glitched recipe. Uh, unfortunately, you know this is pretty much end game, so uh, we didn't. I didn't get to use it as much as I, I usually do, or I, I would have liked to. So, um, but now my goal for this video is pretty much. Um, Let's explore the castle, because I, I, I haven't really done that too much. I've done it a little bit here and there, but uh, everything we have a level 4 castle. Everybody's here. <laughs> well, almost everybody. Um, so let's talk to them. Let's play some of the, the mini games and, and let's keep going back to Hayo and checking in on him and stuff. So we'll start here, since we're already here. It's funny how I'd, but I'd love to do laundry. It makes me feel so good and make, uh, make something dirty clean again. Warning, warning, do not get me wet. And Millie's always generally here. But what I love about this game is that they don't just keep one person in one spot. They, All of the characters have multiple areas and multiple dialogue within the castle. And as the castle shifts and grows, people uh, shift and, um, and change dialogue and stuff. So it really makes it feel more alive, if that makes sense. So, um... I plan on this episode being a little bit longer. I may split it up into two parts again, but this is just more of a relaxing episode. We're not going to continue with any storyline uh, right now. Um, if you want to skip ahead uh, to the to the next episodes, because we're not going to do anything too significant here, except for try to uh, play Hayo's mini game essentially and just explore. So, hey, hey, look, look! In the beautiful Bonaparte, take a good look. Yeah. All right, this is the rope climbing mini game, which you've seen me play this before. Um, yeah, let's go after that dog whistle. So you pay money. Uh, the bet, the more money you spend, the the better league you are. You know, you you compete in, and therefore better prizes. So we're off to a good start with the. With the bare minimum! Because <laughs> if we would've got a 1, technically you're, you're knocked back down. But I think if you're at a knot, the game knows not to give you a 1. Even though, technically, you still should have a 1 in 6 chance of, of rolling a 1, right? But maybe you get to roll again or something uh, in real life. So a 5's not too bad, but we're gonna keep risking it. I, I usually like to get about halfway. I only like to put my knot in, you know, uh, either halfway to three quarters of the way. I aim to do it once. Sometimes you have to do it twice. Just because uh, placing a knot just uh, skips your turn, basically. Uh, general rule of thumb, too, is as long as I'm ahead of them, I'll place a knot. If I'm always below them, yeah, see, now would be a good time, I guess, to, to place a knot. Or I could risk it and try to go further. Let's do it. It'll, it'll knock me down. Oh, nice. Another five. See, now I'll definitely put a knot next turn. Because I'm definitely ahead of them, but they can they can catch up any any moment now. <laughs> Especially that green one. If that green one gets another what? One, two, three. Um He'll catch up with me. But hey, if I fall, that's the, the furthest I'll go. So that's a little above half. That's like, what, two-thirds? Doing pretty well. Four? All right, all right. Let's see. I... Oh, this is going to be close. I know it is. Because I'm not going to get... Okay. Not too bad. 
I'll be ha- oh man, I have to risk it, right? Let's see, how far away is the blue? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, if he gets a six, he wins. Oh man. I'm not gonna risk it. He gets a six. Woohoo! Got it. Yeah, cause green is is too far away to win. And there's no way I can just get a one if if my knot is right there, so. Nice! Glad I got to show that off. First place! Uh, there's a few items that you can only get in this minigame. Um, this dog whistle, I don't know if we have one in our uh, party there. Oh, <laughs> I'm so, I'm not used to our items only being one page. We gave away all the recipes. So this is for... Uh, the Kobolds, uh, for their Unite attack, so the specific items to that. Um, do I have to give Hayo? You want all, all of the different types of spices and stuff, and mayonnaise, and... Do I have to give him them? Okay. I think he can just use them now that we have them, like, in our... We quote-unquote gave it to him. Hmm, it doesn't t quite taste right. See, uh, even... I guess those people are still there, but Hannah is new right here. Um, but there's a lot of Unite Attack, um, items that you can use. I should have gone down. If we would have gone down, we would have seen the bathhouse and then take us out to Market, the, the Market Street. But we're going, uh, we're continuing on this, this second floor, this first or second floor. I don't know what they consider it. Clive is just brooding. Yikes. <laughs> Bob, come on, let's get this started. Pitcher? Hello? Ah, I'm so sleepy. Uh, I took time off from the sh uh, item shop. Beautiful stage, Shane. Come on already. <laughs> so basically, what they're waiting for is if you remember way back in Cus Cus, um, we recruited Karen. Hehe. <laughs> what? Um,. Up okay? No? You wanna dance with me? Teach me to dance! <laughs> she was ready for that, that lady's getting in the way. She's like, ooh, my. See, what always kind of bugged me, I, I guess it didn't completely bug me, is that she didn't have a portrait when she's in this mode. Uh, I guess they generally don't give people uh, second portraits in this game, so... Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's go to the stage. Which I don't blame them, they're on the PS1. There's probably a very limited amount of space. They cram so much in this game anyway. Uh, well, you ready to start? All right. Well, we've actually, aside from recruiting you, we've never actually done it, so let's listen to the explanation real quick. This is another mini game that you can actually get prizes for. Uh, okay, I'll dance first. It's like this. So it shows you the controller, so gosh, yeah. Hope we don't have to memorize that. Uh, watch how I dance and do it exactly what I do. If you can do it uh, with no mistakes, we'll let you uh, go on to the next step. The next step will be longer, but it's basically just a repeat of the first one, so good luck. Well, are you ready to start first? Okay, give it a try. Tell me when you're ready to practice. I think the practice is literally just... Uh... Yeah, me pressing the buttons. You can spin with the R1, L1, spin left. <laughs> um, and the directional pads don't do anything, so it's pretty much your R1, X, O, square, triangle. Um, okay, we'll exit there. Oh, and I forgot to do in the practice, you can do, like, both hands at the same time. Alright. Uh, okay, let's dance. I'll go first. Watch carefully how I do it. God, I suck at memorizing patterns. <laughs> That's definitely my weakness. Alright, here we go. Triangle. Square. 
O X triangle X O square. It's my turn. Okay. Triangle square O X triangle X O square. I think that was it. Now, the combinations aren't random. They are sweet. I did it. <laughs> I was doing my best not to not to look at the um at the guide or any anything online for it. Um pretty good. Let's uh well, let's try the dance a little longer. All right. Please take this as a reminder of our dance. Uh, take good care of it. The Karen Statue A! So there's three main dances, and then uh, four and five um, are randomly generated. So um, you collect prizes, like I said, uh, by doing these dances. Now, uh, as far as what these prizes are, they're the Karen Statue... Uh, I think A, B, and C. Well, you know what? We'll just find out. All right, let's do it. And I think this will build off of what we did, if not repeat itself. So, triangle, square, O, X, triangle, X, O. Triangle, square, O, X, triangle, X, O, square. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> o, X, triangle, X, O, square, triangle, square, O, X, triangle, X, O. Square. And then don't press anything after that. <laughs> Aw, yeah! And I guess I, I could have done these dances before. She's laughing at me! You really got the hang of it. Now let's try uh, to pay more attention to the rhythm. Please take this. Alright! That paying attention to the rhythm, I... As long as you press it, I don't think it matters. Let's do it! Uh, but what I was saying, I guess I could have done this uh, as soon as you recruit her. You know, as soon as the stage is here and everything. Um, yeah, let's do it. Um, but I just haven't. I've been saving it for, for this. You know, going around the castle, messing around, uh, waiting for the Hi-Yo minigames. Because that, that takes a while. Uh, to reset. O, square, triangle, triangle, square, X. She changes it up on me. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright. I may, I may look at this. Square, X, O, X. <sighs> she switched it up on me. That's not fair. <laughs> Alright. O. Square. Triangle. Triangle. X. Er. No, I said it wrong, but I did it right. Oh, no, I, I just messed up. Yeah, I totally messed up. I hit a... I hit a square instead of an O, or an O instead of a square, one or the other. Oh, <laughs> defeat! I'm surprised there's not, like, more music aside from the clapping, but maybe they thought it would distract people. Let's try again. No, just have an option to say try again while we're out here so we don't have to load all that again. Poof. Uh, fun fact, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video, but I was reading a, uh, 
an article, and it was uh, Nobu Uematsu, who does the music for the Final Fantasy games. Um, or used to, I guess, anyway. Um, he was talking about how uh, during Final Fantasy VII that they wanted, they compressed the music a lot in that way so you didn't have to have loading screens. They didn't want to deter gameplay f uh, through loading screens and loading the game and stuff like that. Um, but it was at the cost of the music itself um, being compressed a lot more than he wanted to. Uh, but he said he recalled a game uh, and it ended up being Suikoden where they beautifully executed like yeah we did they did load in the game but the music sounded fantastic uh so he praised this game's music uh or at least the series okay let's see if we can do this okay ready you ready i'm ready no i'm not oh square triangle triangle square x o x o square triangle triangle square X, O, X, O, square, triangle, triangle, square, X, O, X. I think that was it. As a kid, I would have to write, like, I would do this multiple times and write it down. Oh, no! Rhythm was a little off. The rhythm's important, you know. I think I got the right sequence. I <laughs> get out of my way, lady. All right, we're pushing you out. All right. Uh, all right. Third time's the charm. I just want to do this last one. I I'm not gonna do four and five right now. Dance. Okay. I guess the rhythm doesn't matter for stage one and two, but. She's pickier about it in stage three. Oh. Oh. Square. Triangle. Triangle. X. O. X. O. Square. Triangle. Yeah, I definitely had to, like, write this down as a kid. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Square. Try. Square. Triangle. Triangle. Square. X. O. I, it's tough because I did like a beat real look, to get on to her clapping. Does that count? Oh my gosh. One more time. I do want to show this. All right, I'll just try to stick to it it's, and be like off, off beat of her clapping. Let's see. Um, but I thought it was a neat interview. Um, I don't know, I don't have the article, maybe I can, if I can find it, I can post it in the comments, but, um, it was just interesting on how, you know, limited the, you know, memory was on these games, and they really had to optimize it to the max, you know, and something as, um, really, you don't really think about, but that loading screen at the beginning, um, you know, the developers really, like, have to make a choice. And do we want long loading screens but better quality picture or sound or uh, and have it d detract from the gameplay? Do we want each door being a loading screen? Do we want just one loading at the beginning or just none at all? Uh, it's really amazing what they've been able to do. All right. Oh. Square. Triangle. Triangle. Oh, square, triangle, triangle, X, O, X. I 
was perfect, right? That was perfect. That was perfect? Oh, alright. Well, um... Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. So it was a little slow. You're a little slow. Whatever. Alright. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I I didn't realize I was that bad at that mini game. I, I thought I was a lot better. Um, a request, fine. But as you know, uh, as long as you know, uh, we give priority to requests from a beautiful young ladies. Sir Brandon, what type of song do you like? So basically, these three magician or er, magicians, <laughs> uh, musicians that have been trying to find each other. Now, uh, once you join them all together, you'll be able to. Uh, play the soundtrack that I was just talking about. So, um, the Golden Capital shines once more in Tranquility. So these song titles are actually different than, uh, a little different than the OST that I have, the original soundtrack. So, um, Ripples of Fate Carry You Away. This would be Lake West, I believe. Yep. So it's a neat feature that you can play any, pretty much any of the soundtrack uh, from this game. However, uh, because there was errors um, and addressing errors, uh, hence there's like silent screens, you know, during the war sequences. Um, and there's going to be one more here at the end um, that I'll mention when we get to it. Um... There, there are certain songs, and when we recruited Annalie, if you recall, it was just straight silent. I, I dubbed in the actual song of what she, she sings, but, um, you can't actually play a couple of these, um, because the, the game itself can't find the file, the American version anyway. The, the Japanese version I think is okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's a, it's a good, A good little, uh, mechanic. So there you go. Um, I love a lot of those songs. I do like to listen to the soundtrack. And you can go out to the stage, uh, but you can't exit. I think you, can, you can't even talk to these guys. Um, it's easy to listen at work, um, because it's easy to concentrate while listening to stuff that doesn't have words in it. Uh, the stage is really popular today. Yeah, because I was there. What, what? Yeah, this is technically the second floor. I was right. Um, we're about a half hour in. Oh, maybe I should check. Here, we'll talk to Sierra and Apple. Yawn. And then Apple, if you want to rearrange your army. Um, which we pretty much spent a bunch of time doing anyway. Um... I do want Shin. Let's do this. Um, the the guide suggests that Chaco, uh, you give Chaco to to Mazis here, uh, just to improve his mobility. Um, and I'll agree with that, just because it's hard to to move a magic unit. Uh, and that fire rune's gonna come in handy here soon. Um, I wish I could give Luke, maybe, you know, if you wanted Luke to do the same thing uh, with the invention here, or give invention to Mazis. That might not be a bad idea, but I do like Shin on there, so. Mm. Let's try it. Alright. So, he can heal and have critical, so Luke's about to to go crazy and then invent so we'll get Maz as close and then um we're gonna wreck some people in the next fight um so let's go check hi yo hopefully we don't lose we should save if I was smart <laughs> I guess this, something happened I just reset okay so nothing yet I don't know how long it takes to to reset, so um, I think it's been about 10-15 minutes. We'll, we'll check again here in a few minutes after we explore. We'll go to Richmond and stuff, so I don't get it. 
Why aren't people nicer to my uh, little sweetie Bonaparte? He's very nice once you get to know him. It's kind of like my dog. <laughs> Something that I cannot seem to think straight anymore. Young kids these days. Young kids these days don't know uh, to take care of themselves. Only taking a bath once a day. <laughs> How many times do you take them, Tatsu? Bogan liked Brandon, but Ellie, she loved Brandon. Oh. Um, alright, well, I'll split up the episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys when we explore more of the castle.